Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I hope you're having a good uh, day, whatever you're up to. So I thought today we'd have a little um, a little cut open and have a look in and a taste of an Asian pear. Now this one's got some uh, marking on the skin, which is probably due to uh, where it's been stored. And the reason I thought I'd do this, and apart from that, it's a particularly large fruit. Obviously, this is not one that I've grown. Uh, this was bought from the Chinese supermarket in Chinatown here in London. And they market, market it as a century pear. Now, I was having a little look, and I think if it's actually the 20th century pear, this variety is also known as Nijiziki. Uh, it's the uh, Japanese name for it, or Nihisiki. I'm not sure Siki. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I think it's Nihisiki, Siki. Um, but the Chinese call this one the century pear. I'm not sure where the name actually comes from. It's also obviously known as Asian pear and Nashi pear, but I think the actual variety is century pear. Now this is a particularly large fruit, and obviously for the UK it's out of season. But I thought what we'd do is cut it open and have a look. Have a look in the middle because it's a very substantial size. And you see, it's actually got uh, it's actually got seeds inside this. So I thought we'd taste it and see what it's like. Um, these were on these were on reduced because they were actually sort of getting close to out of date. So probably past their um, their best peak taste. Now, this is obviously a little bit past its best because this is not... One thing about Asian pears, they normally tend to be very, very crispy. Got a fresh, like, nice, crispy bite to them. And quite a sort of watery... Um, they taste quite refreshing. Now, this one is actually a little bit softer inside. The texture is actually more reminiscent of a European pear. They get that slight sort of um, very slight sponginess to them. Nevertheless, it's quite sweet. Got a nice flavour to it. Now I actually haven't got the variety uh, Nuji Siki. I've got. Um, Hong Li, uh, Shinziki, and I think the other one's. Is the other one Hozui? I forget now, Kumoi. Not too sure, but I definitely haven't got this one, which is Nijisiki. But I have got one that is a round yellow colour, which is the uh, Shinziki. But this is quite nice. Very large. <clears throat> One interesting, not interesting so much about them, but I don't know if you can see, but as they get a little bit older, when you cut them open, they um, they start to brown. They start to oxidise very quickly. And I think that's to do with the amount of uh, when they're sort of kind of overripe, and probably because they were stored, they've been stored cold as well, so they tend to oxidise much much quicker and get that browning to them, just like. Um, avocados and some apples do as well anyway I just thought I'd do that uh, make a change just to do a tasting on a fairly regular fruit but of course it could be quite a lot of people who haven't eaten Nashi or Asian pears I actually prefer them to regular pears especially when they're fresh off the tree because they've just got that lovely crisp refreshing taste and texture to them so that's a um, that's a century pear bought from the uh, Chinatown here in the UK and uh, for anyone that's interested, I'm sure you can buy them wherever you live. Um, they're they're getting they're a bit more readily available than they used to be. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Much appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up. Share the video if you think anybody's interested in these uh, these Asian pears or century pears. Please subscribe to my channel. 
And remember to click on the bell if you'd like to know when new videos come out. I'll catch up with you all soon. Brett out for now.